today's lecture we will learn to know about various forms of stem in the previous lecture we have discussed various terms that is used for different kinds of stem in actual sense the stem can be divided into two main category the first one is called aerial stem and the second one is called underground stem aerial stem it is that kind of stem which grow uh, above the ground which is not underground which is basically aerial which is exposed to light which is exposed to the air and which is exposed to the environmental conditions and uh, basically the climate the underground stem is that kind of stem which is beneath the soil or which is under the soil it develops and increase in thickness and have store food in the form of starch in underground stem there are parenchymatous cells which helps to store food in the form of starch and starch it is what starch is a complex carbohydrate first we will discuss about aerial stem the aerial stem is basically divided into three main categories the first one is called reduced stem the second one is called erect stem and the third one is called weak stem what is reduced stem the familiar example of reduced stems are radish and turnip the stem is uh, uh, in this case the stem is too much smaller and it is often confused with root but it is not root it is the smallest stem from the reduced stem or from the upper portion of the reduced stem leaves arises and from the lower portion of such kind of stem thick fleshy root arise which is consisted of stored food like that of radish and turnip the second one is called erect stem erect stem is very very common almost most of the angiosperm and gymnosperms have erect stem the examples are very clear here in the erect stem all the herbs shrubs and trees have erect stem and uh, in trees the erect stem are woody in nature which is very clear to us like uh, 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 like the plant acacia nilotica or morus alba in which there is erect stem the third one is called weak stem weak weaker stem are those stems uh, which uh, which 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 cannot uh, are which have certain structures upon which they stick to certain surface and upon those surfaces or object they grow in order to expose themselves to maximum light and other climatic conditions so the weaker stem can be divided into two main types that is climbers and the other is called trailer what are climbers climbers are those plants 
which climb upon or which stick to certain surface and uh, grow upon that surface. So, and that surface may be wall of a building or it may be a uh, trunk of a tree. We have seen the climbers uh, mostly in tropical regions uh, or in forest in which epiphyte grow upon uh, the, tr the trunk of trees in order to expose themselves to maximum light. The other kind of weak stem is called trailer. Trailer are those stem which spread upon the ground surface but doesn't or cannot climb upon any object. These stems often don't have Climb, climbing surfaces uh, through which they can uh, stick and grow upon that uh, surface. So, the familiar example of trailer is uh, Tribulus terrestris. Tribulus terrestris is uh, very useful medicinal plants uh, which is included in uh, trailers. The climbers uh, are very diverse. Uh, there occur diversity in climbers. The climbers are divided into uh, four main categories uh, and uh, uh, this, these categories are basically uh, uh, classified upon the basis of the presence of certain uh, sticky object. For example, in the first category which is called twinner. Twinner have no other object except the stem. The stem stick to certain surface and it turns around that object like a spring. For example, convolvulus arvens. In convolvulus arvens, the plant uh, stick to certain surface and turns around it and grow towards the sunlight. So these kind of stem are called twinners. The other one is called tendril. Tendril climbers are those climbers which have uh, which have a certain object which is called uh, tendril. And that tendril is sensitive to touch. When the tendril comes in contact with any object, it turns around that object and does stick to that object and therefore the plant grow upward towards the sunlight. That among the tendril climbers, uh, we have one example like uh, the grapes, whitus venifera, or there are also other tendril uh, climbers and vegetables. For example, the pea plant or the uh, other wild plant like Lethyrus epaca or Lethyrus odoratus. So these plants are included among tendril climbers. The third one is called root climbers. Root climbers uh, are those plants which climb upon any object with the help of certain sticky roots. The uh, Most of the ornamental plants uh, are included in this category we have often seen such plants in garden or in other uh, educational institutions that these plants stick to the surface of the wall through these sticky roots and thus grow upward towards the sunlight. For example, pepper. The fourth one category is called hook climbers. Hook climbers are uh, having certain uh, structures uh, in the form of spines uh, and uh, those spines are bent uh, 
uh, uh, uh, I went on uh, one side and due, due to those spines or due, due to those structures the these plants, these hook climbers grow upon a certain surface and expose themselves to sunlight and other environmental conditions. The familiar example of hook climber is Bougainvillea glabra. Bougainvillea glabra is a, as an ornamental plant which climbs upon certain surface through hooks and uh, uh, thus they climb upon and grow upon their surface. Similarly, we have other form of stems um, in which there occur modifications. Uh, for example, uh, certain, uh, certain stem are included in the plant kingdom which grow upon the surface of the soil but they are not erect stem. So these kinds of stem are called prostrate stem. Prostrates means the stem which grow horizontally upon the soil surface. So there occur considerable modification in these kinds of stems. For example, we have one type which is called creeper. Creeper means, uh, creeper are those plants uh, which grow upon uh, the uh, surface of the ground uh, having nodes and uh, enter nodes. Uh, so these plants uh, grow upon the surface of the soil and uh, uh, from the nodes of these plants uh, branches arises and roots arises towards the soil after some time uh, the area between two nodes uh, is just uh, dies away and these plants thus grows upon the uh, surface of the ground the example of creeper is uh, ground ivy or uh, glycoma Hedrasia. The second category of prostrate stem is runner. Runner is uh, that kind of stem which have nodes and inter nodes and spread upon the surface of the soil. From the nodes arises leaves and uh, branches. Similarly, on the lower surface of the nodes arises the adventitious roots. The familiar example of runner are grasses, which is also called turf grass and strawberry. The third form of prostrate stem is stolon. Stolon is basically much elongated runner. This kind of uh, prostate stem is found in flowers in which one branch grow and when their branch touches the ground they develop adventitious roots and later on cuts off from the parental plant. This new plant arises in this way. So, the familiar example of stolon is wild rose. The fourth one is called offset. Offset is basically a short thick runner which turns off at its ends and giving off adventitious roots and develops into a new plant. The familiar example of offset is a gale. The fifth one category of prostrate stem is called sucker. Sucker is underground runner. It is found in 
meant menta peperata and in higher plant like Delbergia sissu. Similarly, we have underground stem and the underground stem is divided into four main categories. The first one is called rhizome. The rhizome is thick, fleshy and branch stem which grows horizontally under the soil and having nodes and internodes. The familiar example of rhizome is ginger and it is also found in some sages, for example, Typa angustipulia. The second one is called comb. Comb is basically condensed rhizome. The example of comb is crocus or colchicum luteum. In comb, comb have shortest nodes and internodes and upon the nodes are uh, certain uh, scale like leaves which later on develops into foliage leaves. Similarly, from the nodes arises the adventitious roots in comb. The third one category is called bulb. The bulb stem is, uh, uh, is found in onion and garlic. Actually, this is very, very reduced stem or these plants have very, very reduced stems. Uh, and the stem is uh, flat in structure. Uh, from the upper surface of the stem arises the scale-like leaves. So, and from the lower surface of uh, the stem arises the adventitious uh, roots. So, uh, the, the, the example of bulb is uh, onion and garlic. The fourth one category is called stem tubers. Stem tubers, it is found in a potato plant. We have seen the, the potato plant that from the stem arises branches which develops leaves above the ground in order to prepare food through the process of photosynthesis. And from the lower portion of the stem arises certain branches which develops stem tubers. These stem tubers have uh, buds and their buds are used in vegetative reproduction because the stem tubers have stored food in the form of carbohydrate which is called starch. So this is all about the various form of stem in a plant. If you have any question about this topic, please write in a comment. Thank you very much.